हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन चैप्टर एट सोशल मोमेंट्स एंड आवर टॉपिक इज द ट्राइबल मोमेंट्स डिफरेंट ट्राइबल ग्रुप्स स्प्रेड अक्रॉस द कंट्री मे शेयर कॉमन इश्यूज बट द डिस्टिंक्शंस बिटवीन देम आर इक्वली सिग्निफिकेंट मेनी ऑफ द ट्राइबल मोमेंट्स हैव बीन लार्जली लोकेटेड in the so called tribal belt in middle india such as the santhals achos orents mundas in chota nagpur and the santhals pargana the reason constitutes the main part of what has come to be called charkhand we will not be able to go into any detailed account of the different movements we take jharkhand as an example of a tribal movement with a history that goes back a hundred years we also briefly touch on the specificity of the tribal movements in the north east but fail to deal comprehensively the many differences that exist between one tribal movement and another within the region now let us discuss jharkhand jharkhand is one of the newly formed states of india carved out of south bihar in the year 2000 behind the formation of this state lies more than a century of resistance the social movement of jharkhand had a charismatic leader in birsa munda an adivasi who led a major uprising against the british after his death birsa became an important icon of the movement stories and songs about him can be found all over the charkhand the memory of birsa's struggle was also kept alive by writing Christian missionaries working in South Bihar were responsible for spreading literacy in the area. Literate Adivasis began to research and write about their history and myths. They documented and disseminated information about tribal customs and cultural practices. This helped create a unified ethnic consciousness and a shared identity as charkhandis literate adivasis were also in a position to get government jobs so that over time a middle class adivasis intellectual leadership emerged that formulated the demand for a separate state and lobbied for it in india and abroad within south bihar adivasi shared a common hatred of dikwas migrant late traders and money lenders who had settled in the area and grabbed its wealth improvising the original residents most of the benefits from the mining and industrial projects in this mineral rich region had gone to dikkas even as adivasi lands had been alienated adivasi experiences a marginalization and their sense of injustice were mobilized to create a shared charkhandi identity and inspire collective action that eventually led to the formation of a separate state the issue against which the leaders of the movement in charkhand agitated were acquisition of land for large irrigation projects and firing ranges survey and settlement operations which were held up camps closed down etc collection of loans rent and cooperative dues 
which were resisted and nationalization of forest produce which they boycotted now the next topic is the north east the process of state formation initiated by the indian government following the attainment of independence generated disquieting trends in all the major hills districts in the region conscious of their distinct identity and traditional autonomy the tribes were unsure of being incorporated within the administrative machinery of assam the rise of ethnicity in the region is thus a response to cope with the new situation which developed as a consequence of the tribes contact with a powerful alien system long isolated from the indian mainstream the tribes were able to maintain their own world view and social and cultural institutions with little external influence while the earlier phase showed a tendency towards successionism this trend has been replaced by a search for autonomy within the framework of the indian constitution one of the key issues that bind tribal movements from different parts of the country is the alienation of tribals from forest lands in this sense ecological issues are central to tribal movements just as cultural issues of identity and economic issues such as inequality are they brings us back to the question about the blurring of old and new social movements in india now let us wind up the session and thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self learning podcast